This is part one of the long-awaited wax tutorial for the Star Trek transporter effect. In this part, generate the particles needed for the effect. And start out with project settings. And for this part of it, I'm generating only video. And I've set my file name to transporterparticles2.avi. Like I said, I'm only creating video with this because this doesn't need a soundtrack. I'm going with 1280 by 720 and 29.97 frames per second. And I use that frame rate because that's what my camera generates and that's generally what I uh, produce all of my video at. For the codec, I'm using Microsoft Video One with Alpha Channel Transparency checked and the configure I'm setting that to 100 or 1.0 for maximum quality. Alright, now that that part's done, what I did was without bothering to import any media, go to the video plugins, the particles, and then drag the particles element down here onto the timeline. Now I've already done this so I don't have to do it again. And the particles click that to uh, expand it and these items right here you don't need to mess with just leave this set to blend and you don't need to mess with the time Go right here to the creation section where you give it the parameters for creating the particles now I've got this set to maximum number of particles at 60,000 and 18,000 particles per second now for the colors, and that's the key part if you want it to look like the original Trek uh, transporter effect. I'm using uh, a kind of a light yellow for the minimum color, and uh, I think that's a medium orangish thing for the uh, max color. As a matter of fact, here's your color values right here if you wanted to duplicate that. And just for grins... There's the uh, colors for the yellow for our, the color values for the yellow. Okay, and uh, this part's important here because the thing's too small. If you use the default size values, the particles will be too small, and at that it might be necessary to uh, experiment with slightly larger uh, minimum and maximum size values. I've got it at minimum 1.0 and maximum 1.25. Now destroy, that's the condition the particles will be in when they are destroyed. The minimum age is 0.5 seconds, that's so they will exist for a second, and up to 6.5 seconds. And again, here's the uh, color values for the yellow variant, and color values for the uh, orange-like variant. When they blend and mix together, they make a reasonable color for a transporter effect sparkly. And the minimum and maximum size, I believe those are the default values. And next to the emitter, there we are. I have moved position Y to minus 1.280, so measure will be at the bottom of the screen. I've changed the radius to 2.141 so that it will be as wide as the screen is. These other values I'm pretty much leaving alone. Direction is 1.0, which means that they will be going up. The deer variance and so on I didn't mess with. Minimum velocity 0.2, max velocity 0.6, acceleration. X I didn't change, or Z I didn't change. Acceleration Y, 1.250. The minimum acceleration, 0.3. Max acceleration, 1.5. And also, I gave it some rotation. Minimum 2.0, and maximum 9.620, so that the particles will have kind of a little rotating effect and uh, swirl a little bit. Okay, now let's go ahead and uh, 
collapse these. And here's what those settings produce. All right. Now, what I've also done is I've taken this marker here and pulled it from zero over to four seconds. And the other marker and the end of the effect is at 12 seconds. And so we'll be rendering the eight seconds between four and 12. And that way, the early part of the effect where the particles are flowing up and beginning to fill the screen won't be in the video. So now, just a matter of uh, save the project. That's always important, with, especially with Wax. You want to save your project very frequently. And then hit green arrow to render your output video. And I'll be back when that's done. And I'm back. That little eight second clip took about two minutes to render. And now, here is what it looks like in the video player. Tomorrow, in the second part of this, I will go over how to use this. Uh, visual that we've just created in an actual Star Trek transporter effect. Take it easy, I'm out of here.